Alex, I mean, it seems like a great advantage for an undeclared candidate or for anyone to have this kind of a platform to basically define their image. In some ways it may, but you know, uh, there was just a recent CNN survey, Anderson, that had Sarah Palin running nearly 10 points behind Barack Obama while Mitt Romney was running nearly double digits ahead while Huckabee was running ahead. Uh, and this is Barack Obama at his weakest point. If you can't, he's just lost 60 seats and lost independence in an election. If you can't uh, pull ahead of Obama now, he's only going to get stronger and tougher over the next year. Why is that? One reason may be that she's becoming, Sarah Palin's becoming more of a celebrity than a leader. And that's and, something she attacked <laughs> uh, candidate Obama for during the right. campaign, as I recall. Isn't, isn't that stunning? Remember the McCain ad <laughs> where, uh, you know, Barack Obama's biggest celebrity is Paris Hilton and Britney Spears, but is he ready to lead? You could make that same ad today against Sarah Palin. Right. Roland? Oh, uh, absolutely, Anderson. It, Okay. It's hilarious. It's, she is the Kim Kardashian of politics, okay? And <laughs> oh, that come is, on now. That, that, no, but seriously, okay? She, Better she figure. She's making a ton of money. We're trying to fi no, she's making a ton of money. We're trying to figure out why. It's yeah. the same thing as Kim Kardashian. And, I'm sorry, and she, she has held public office. Kim Kardashian, I don't know, has, ever, has she ever held a job? I mean, no, right. Uh, Sarah she's held has. And, and she's held public office, and she quit. She quit her job because she wanted to go out and be a celebrity. Let's just go ahead and put it out there. I think it's a Look, little unfair to, call, to the, compare her to Kim Kardashian. But she's, I'm not okay, sure fine. But the, I'm but the bottom line is, okay, whatever. But the bottom line is here. We do know she quit. That's factually correct. She didn't serve a whole term. But here's the other piece, okay? The Gallup poll came out today. Her unfavorable rating is 52%. Her favorable rating is 40%, the lowest it's ever been. So, yeah, there's a strong, a concentrated group of people on the Republican side who really love and adore Sarah Palin. But when Karl Rove and other Republicans, you know, Alex, he danced around it, but even he knows, at the end of the day, Sarah Palin would be absolutely a disaster for the Democratic Party. And Paul Bagaya is at home right now saying, please nominate Sarah Palin as their nominee. I think Roland meant the Republican Party. I'm not sure that any show with Sarah Palin is something that you could call a reality show because it's, you know, she's had an unreal life, you know, from third place finisher in the Miss Alaska pageant to governor of Alaska <laughs> running for vice president, now a celebrity. But she That's does have tremendous, show TV. <laughs> she does have a tremendous amount of political power. She's created this past year the, the Republican feminist movement, you know, uh, in, inspiring a lot of women hey, we can't leave our children with less opportunity and more debt than we have. She's, she does have enough power to raise money and, and help get candidates through primaries, but she's the biggest fish in a small pond. Once she gets to the big pond, she loses a lot of her political leverage. I don't think she'll run for president. You don't think she will? I agree. You both no, don't? No, really? I agree. No, I agree. I, I, look, she's, she's, look, she said on Fox News with Chris Wallace, she really has no accountability when it comes to making her comments on Twitter and Facebook. She can do whatever she wants. And let's be honest, we're sitting here right now talking about somebody who quit their political job and saying, oh, they might run for president one day. And so she's feasting off of all the free publicity. I don't think for a second she runs because the moment she runs, when she's in, when she's in that first Republican debate on stage with nine or ten other candidates, she can't just say, you betcha. She can't yeah. dance her way around it but, but if she doesn't down on policy but if she doesn't run alex then i mean as long as there's a possibility of her running right. then there's that kind of heightened excitement it, it, if she go. doesn't run then and and you know then someone else comes to the fore what does she do does she just go out continue go out doing books campaigning picking candidates she does what she did this year she went in and and really helped john mccain get through a primary she helped uh, tea party candidates all over the country uh, energize their campaigns. She holds uh, the Republican Party accountable for less spending, less debt, and to reduce the size of government. And uh, she, you know that's a tremendous amount of power within the Republican Party, no doubt about that. Uh, but you know you don't always have to run for president to have an influence in, in the direction of the country. Yeah. Well, she, she remains a celebrity. As simple as that. So sorry if I insult the Kim Kardashian. My bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't saying you were insulting Kim Kardashian. I was saying I thought you were no, insulting just, Sarah Palin. Come on. But just for clarity's sake. Uh, it's late on a Friday, Anderson. Come on. <laughs> and Anderson, I think I figured something out, though. I think that reflection there, yeah. that's me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, much like a dolphin. You've just figured that out. Uh, Alex Gossier. Yeah,